Today we are going to show you how to do some telephone work on an old-fashioned landline. If you've got a landline in the back of your house, you've got one of these telephone network interface boxes and it says customer. Can you see that? It says customer access on that side, telephone access on that side. And if you open this up, I've already got it open. Actually mine comes off because this thing swings around like that. What you're going to see is probably, see this connection plug here? That is simply a wire that plugs in to this side of the box. And the other side has these screws. What you need is a cable, which I've got here. This particular cable I have has... This has, this is what they call six wire. So you got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six wire. That's called six wire three pair. And what you do is I'm only gonna use two of these because I'm only gonna put in one phone line. I've got a spool of wire I'm gonna use there. But before I did the spool, I just wanted to make sure that this all worked the way I thought it would. And so I'm using the blue and the white wire coming off of this. I've got the blue and the white wire connected to this and that goes into what you usually see is this thing you plug the phone line into which is this deal. And If you've got uh, DSL service you want to use a filter and then that goes into the phone. Okay so you see what I got? Is this is just a this is just a jack assembly and you've got four wires I'm only going to use two of them I'm not using the black or the yellow and what you do is you tie the blue and the white are going to go up and connect onto those two screws come down the cable connect to these two screws and then those two screws connect to the two cables they connect so those red and green connect the white and the blue that up the cable connect to those two screws and if it'll work on this short run then I can get my spool of wire connect that up and run it around the house and it'll all work fancy or at least it'll work good well actually it'll work old-fashioned and not fancy at all so the main thing we're looking for is do we have a dial tone? Can you hear the dial tone in there? And I can hear it, so we've got tone. And that is how you can get into that box, use those two screws, took two wires to that, bring it down to a jack, which I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna take that jack and put it inside the house when I put the phone through the wire. But I just wanted to make sure that this worked out here, because if it works out here, then I can use that spool to make it work in the house. Now I've just got to connect that spool into the box and it'll go up underneath, as you can probably see up underneath there. So there's our spool of wire, got a ton of it, and then the wire comes up, goes into the box here. So we're only gonna need these two wires, the blue and the white, and I'm just going to leave that in there and whenever I get my wire run then I'll connect those to those two screws and I'll be able to get phone service in the house. In the meantime we'll go ahead and close this box up. And when I'm ready I'll run this wire around. So I got my spool of wire and it goes up into the box there. Can you see that? And so it comes out of the box, tucked it in there, tucked it in there. And I'm just going to follow those other wires around the house where those other ones are. So, okay, so what that. I did is I ran out the length of cable. And see, it's coming up out of the box. I ran out the length of cable over to where I'm going to run it through the wall because I had to tuck it behind that wire and that wire is I was making my run and then kind of get through a crevice there. So I cut it off into this link so I could squeeze it all behind that. Okay, and that's inside the house. 
where I pulled that other gizmo off and I'm gonna put it back on and what I gotta do is just pull those things off and then these wires and then I am gonna go back outside and you can see it's really bright out here so this has come all the way around the house and this is the part that is inside and it should just the part we were just looking at should just come right out and that's what was inside and that line is bad no reason to even leave it up there You know what? I like. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna reuse these little things. These little brads. I don't know if you can see it or not. I think they look a little better than that big old white thing there over here. So, so I bent this those. green thing. So when I was hooking it up out there, I couldn't pull that through the wall. And let's see if we can coax this gently in here without losing, ripping the tape off. There we go. Oh, dang. Didn't work. Rip the tape off. Poop. Okay, so now the trick is to get this through the wall when it's not wanting to go easy on me. So I have stripped this wire back a little bit this piece of copper is kind of a stiff piece of wire and I stuck it down into this wire here and I've cut off my excess that's all I'm going to need there and now I'm going to wrap some electrical tape around that so you got a good look at that electrical tape is what I've had the success with and it won't break loose and hopefully it's going to wrap tight enough around that And I'll be able to pull that through with no problem. Let's go try it. Okay. Let's see if this works. And it did. So good. That gets our wire into the house. Now, let's go buckle it up, button it up outside. And that is buttoned up up there and kind of got that tucked in there. And I'm going to be painting. This, this is probably going to get painted soon. Now we just need to cut this wire off. Not too short. There is our six wires. The talking. blue and the white and blue is what we're using. And so now we got those stripped off. And we want to put those okay so there we go wire coming in blue and the white and blue connected to the terminals connected to the green and red and now and there's no sense hooking that into the wall until i make sure that we got dial tone on that so let's hook up the outside there is here's the other four we're not using here's the white and the white with blue stripe and a blue and we're going to connect them right to that Truth. We're plugged in and let's see if we've got dial tone. Hey, how about that? Now it's just a matter of putting this thing nicely back in the wall and it's all good. Awesome. And you can see that this is just take some screws, putting that in there and tighten those up. And that's firmly on the wall. Then just kind of wind this part around and this just kind of goes over the top of it and screws that screw goes in and those wires just kind of tuck in behind and that tightens that up not going in and let's check for dial tone and we're done how about that 
That's how easy that is.